Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our latest video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to continue to see content like this on our official channel. And today, it's just a short video going over my level 1 loadout, which is just the simple battle belt. Um, as you can see, I'm already wearing it. It's I choose to go with a thigh holster and a couple extra mags. So let me take this off, put it where you can see it a little better, and we'll go through just a couple details here. So first of all, <clears throat> with my battle belt, I have four extra mags on my left side. I am obviously right hand dominant. And then on the other side, I have one extra mag and my holster. Right now, my combat weapon is a Glock 22. It's a 40 cal. And like I said, I carry five extra mags with it. They're 15 round mags. So that's quite a lot of ammo. If, um, if I'm wearing this with my my vest and my level two, if I'm carrying my rifle, I'll probably take off one of these pouches of two mags and just have uh, three spare mags for it. Um, I do have one spare mag for this weapon on my, um, my loadout here for my rifle on my actual vest. Um, I'll probably do a video on that loadout before too long. Um, you can see that. But, um, Beside the five spare mags that I carry on the, on the battle belt, I do have a pocket knife just slid through the, the molly rings here. Um, and that's just a simple, I think I won it in a giveaway or something. Uh, it's a little stiletto by Tack Force, a little cheap thing. Um, it has fallen out of here before, so that's why uh, I have a cheap one on here. It's okay if it falls off, but it really is handy to have a pocket knife there, especially um, handling gun malfunctions or anything like that, although I've never had a problem with the Glock. Um, I have had a problem with my older Smith & Wesson before. Also on the belt, I have several belt keepers. I have one here that is simply to keep the belt in place with itself. Um, and then I have four along the back side here. Um, one, two, three, four. And then I have one in between these two mag pouches. So six belt keepers all together, but I don't really use this one up here. Um, it's more to keep this pouch in place. The thigh holster that I use is a quick detach, so it just has two uh, buckles that hold it to the rest of the belt. It's molly, there's molly on here so that I can take off the holster, I can reconfigure it a little bit, um, and then there's this pouch here that is actually connected to one of the, the buckles that hold the whole thing in place. I'm not a huge fan of this specific thigh rig. Um, it's all I have at this point, and I am actually saving money to get a more expensive, nicer one. This is just something off of Amazon that I thought I would, I would give a try, and it works, it's functional. For the money I spent on it, it seems to be decent, but it's not quite what I want. My biggest complaint with it is when the firearm is in here. When it's buckled in place, the whole holster can move on the thigh rig because of the weight. So if I'm running, this is moving not much, just a little bit. And uh, it's because the, uh, the molly straps on the holster itself are Velcro. So it's more or less Velcro holding it onto the, the platform. The actual platform itself, I love. I will probably keep that and just get a better holster to connect to it. Uh, so that's all there is to my battle belt. This specific belt is Rhino Gear. Um, I don't know much about brands of the, the pistol belts, but this one seems to work pretty well for me. Don't have any complaints. Um, but that's my level one gear that I run if I only have a pistol. Like I said, I also would wear this with my um, level three vest, and I would just take off one of these double pistol mag pouches. Uh, so that's all for today.
please like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for new content. I will shortly have um, a couple videos coming on my different loadouts of heavier weapons, one for shotgun and one for my rifle. So keep an eye out for those. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.